We travel with the seasons. We set sail only when the wind forecast is favorable, except in Indonesia. So this is the roughest passage we've had in a long time. I don't understand where these waves are coming from. We just had a huge wave. The screw came out of where the top attaches to the bottom. We shouldn't probably be telling you about this. We will sell this boat one day, I'm pretty sure, but. I'm Ben, that's Ashley. Together, we did the unimaginable. We sold everything and then set off on a mission to sail around the world. Civilization. See you later. Twenty-eight countries later, and over 25,000 nautical miles, we are only halfway around the world. I have no idea what's going to happen. Subscribe to follow the adventure as we finish this lap. So we're about two days away from our next stop, um, or next sort of bit of land here. And it's actually quite yucky out. Like, we haven't had this in forever. It's, it's unreal. And it's funny, I feel like we're blowing through Indonesia, but we, what we'd hoped to get was a 30 plus 30 day visa. So we had 60 days before we had to leave the country. We were making our way through Indonesia, which is a huge country. It spans over 2,000 nautical miles from one end to the other. On our boat, that would take over two weeks to sail nonstop. And on arrival, we've been told we had to get out within 30 days. That didn't leave much room to wait around for the perfect weather window. We were hoping that this visa was available for 60 days in the country and then after 60 days we were expecting to do a sort of short trip to fly out of here or um, a visit home or something. Well, I don't know what, the, apparently it wasn't available when we arrived here. Uh, head office said they weren't available. They were available, but now they're not. You, I'm not, we're not quite sure of the whole story, but it sucks. So we have only 30 days to kind of blow through Indonesia. And we're missing out on some parts that I really want to see. Too many miles this year. Too many miles. We haven't done that many, have we? I don't know. It's been a lot of sailing. It's supposed to be romantic sailing, isn't it? It's not very romantic today. I quit. <laughs> okay, you can get off right here. <laughs> it just sucks. It's a little vomity today. But we don't vomit anymore. Been out at sea so much lately, like we've been sailing so much and like moving so much, I don't even need any sea bands or anything. It's crazy town. How do you feel? I feel like you're shoving a camera in my face. Didn't sign up for that either. You see the honking zit I have on my chin? It's from disgusting. I don't think we've had waves this bad in a long time. Like it's been a long time. It's, these are pretty nasty. Now. Oh, it's coming up. Sailing ain't sunshine and roses all the time. Sometimes you gotta get wet. Third reef, last reef, front reef line, back reef line, getting her done. Toughest passage we've had in a long time, like long time. And I, you just had a huge wave and when it hit the cockpit here, like right, right here, right here. And when that happens, everything bounces in the saloon. And uh, this time, the screw came out of where 
the top attaches to the bottom. And it's kind of funny because you probably, we shouldn't probably be telling you about this. We will sell this boat one day, I'm pretty sure, but. <laughs> Yeah, it sucks out here right now. It's awful. Check this out. And stuff's kind of just flying everywhere and I, and I just don't care right now because I can't do much about it. <laughs> so we're gonna continue on and hopefully the waves die. It's like not that windy. These waves are just freaking massive. So this will be night two of this squally, nasty weather. Absolutely disgusting out. It's cranking up to 30 knots, over 30 knots. We're tired, I'm tired of this, ready to pull into an anchorage. But we're coming up to an area where we have an out. We could either pull in or we can keep going. And it must be a current thing because the currents are, are the currents are epically strong here in Indonesia and we're moving along about eight to nine knots. And I think, I mean, we move pretty quick now. These new folding props are amazing, but I don't know that they're that amazing. Our final destination we think is gonna be Lombok or Bali to sort of store the boat in the water on a mooring buoy or on, in a marina uh, for a month or so while we head out of the country, get the proper visa so we can come back in and tour Indonesia properly. Holy sh God, I thought I thought that was uh, like a canoe, like a like a canoe, like a sailboat. I know it's like a dock. It's a fad. The fish aggregation device. That's crazy, man. We gotta run the radar. You can't I see those things on radar. I uh, holy. Sh that was like within like two feet of us. We were pretty lucky we didn't hit that. That's intense, man. So lucky we didn't hit that. I don't know what kind of damage they would have done. You can't see them in the dark, man. I think, what do you think? I think it would have gotten stuck between the hulls. Yeah, that was pretty bad. <laughs> they're not super sturdy, but they're, 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 they're fairly big. <laughs> and it's a bit freaking scary. I think we'd definitely take it with us. It would make a hell of a lot of noise. It would probably break something. It's just morning time, and that thing right there is what we just came out of. It's nasty looking. It's just like this big black cloud behind us. Anyways. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Uh, it's a little house that people squat in to catch fish. I wouldn't fit in it. But you're a giant. Yeah, but that's not even like... They're small people. You see that's... the shorts you can them? They're like six times too big. It's like a two foot headroom in there. <laughs> it doesn't matter how much time you spend living on the ocean. You never conquer nature. Its forces rule all. We're just a cork bobbing around. The moment you think you've got it figured out, it gives you a lesson. And nature is not just one force. The wind combined with the current, combined with the diurnal pattern of the sun and the moon, combined with the landmasses create conditions that no computer model can ever predict. Nature has no emotion, no sympathy, but occasionally, it creates conditions that are just right for us fragile humans. Just right to be able to harness its energy in the most beautiful form. picture. This is a sweet sandbar. Ben's out hiding still. The boat's way over there. I'm out for a walk. I mean, you can't, you can't really complain. The sandbar is massive. It's massive. Check it out.
It is not every night you get a night like this and it's just beautiful. I'm so, I'm so happy to be here in this sand spit, Indonesia. Thank you. With our time cut short, we had to press on and keep moving. This is not typically how we roll. Normally, everything is dictated by the weather, both the macro seasons and the micro wind forecasts. It was time to store the boat somewhere and get out of Indonesia in order to renew our visas. Thank you.